One of the earliest forms of 3D printing relied on using UV light to cure a photopolymer resin into complex and unique shapes. Nearly 40 years later, and that technology can be found on your desk in MSLA resin 3D printers. The smaller form factor did present new challenges, like having the right properties to adhere to the build plate, while still being easy to work with. LayerLock SLA resin 3D printing build surfaces aim to remove the guesswork and have your resin 3D prints locked to the build plate, ensuring a successful print job. Let's break it down. With SLA 3D printing, the most important part of a successful resin print is bed adhesion. Without it, the part can separate from the bed or it can warp slightly and create an uneven part. LayerLock SLA build surfaces are designed to improve the build plate adhesion for all 3D printing resins by providing a stronger mechanical lock to the 3D print with its textured surface. Photopolymer 3D printing resins that are formulated without epoxy are generally safer resins to work with. However, since epoxy is essentially a glue, you may find adhesion with these epoxy-free resins like epoxy-free MH build resin requires more attention to printing factors such as a properly leveled bed, crack profile settings, etc. Have you found that the taped edge of the resin printer's LCD is causing uneven bed leveling and complicating your epoxy resin's adhesion? These SLA build surfaces are cut down to the size of the printer's LCD screen to prevent that issue. LayerLock SLA 3D printing build surfaces are the perfect solution to improve the adhesion for both epoxy and epoxy free resins and start printing successfully with these incredible materials. We know what happens. You pry just a little too hard with your spatula and gouge into your build surface. LayerLock SLA resin 3D printing surfaces come with an adhesive backing pre-applied. So all you need to do is peel off the old one and apply a new one to get back up and running. The benefits of this is twofold. You protect the build plate of your 3D printer, keeping it and your 3D printer's warranty intact. And you can install it on any build plate or flexible build plate solution like the Wham Bam Flexible Build System. Regular sanding is a common solution to improve adhesion and is super effective. And because it's so easy to replace a layer lock SLA build surface, be confident that you can experiment with your setup and achieve the adhesion properties you are looking for. Installation is as easy as cleaning off your build plate with some isopropyl alcohol, letting it dry, removing the liner, and sticking on the LayerLock SLA build surface. If you already have a Wham Bam FBS installed, make sure you follow the instructions and install a spacer, if necessary, to the 3D printer to account for the added thickness of the Wham Bam system and the 0.8mm thick LayerLock SLA sheet. In either case, make sure to relevel the 3D printer's build plate as described in your 3D printer's manual, and you are set to run. If you find bed adhesion has been diminishing over time, you can easily refresh it by giving the entire surface a light sanding with the included 220 grit sandpaper. Just be sure to clean the build plate before and after sanding and avoid breathing in the dust particles by wearing a dust mask or respirator. Once the surface is attached to the build plate, avoid bathing it in solvents such as isopropyl alcohol to clean the surface, as that may shorten the lifespan of the adhesive backing of the layer lock SLA sheet. If you're looking to improve the adhesion of your resin 3D prints without breaking the bank, Using a LayerLock SLA resin 3D printing build surface is the answer for you. Is there a size you'd like LayerLock SLA for? Leave it in the comments down below. To learn more and to order your adhesive solution today, go to matterhackers.com. In my experience, once I installed a LayerLock SLA build surface onto my resin 3D printer, my adhesion was significantly better than before. And if I ever find it starts to diminish, I can always give it a light sanding to bring it back up to par. If you want to read some in-depth articles, you can go to matterhackers.com or to stay up to date with all our digital manufacturing content, be sure to click subscribe. See you in the next one.